I'm kissing Kira goodbye, and here's why you might want to also. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. This is going to be a bit of a controversial issue, but I'm no stranger to controversy because I'm kissing Kira goodbye. Now, I know we've all taken Kira home to mom, and mom just loves them and everything else, but I think it's time for a change. Why do I say that? Well, after the last update, I started having problems with my larger 3D printers. Here are some of the examples, and it's rather strange. So I've got delamination between layers, I got poor surface layers. It was driving me nuts because it was only happening on my larger 3D printers, like my Tron XE, my Alpha Wise, my CR10, but you know, not my Zone Star, not my JG Aurora, you know, the smaller one. You know, so the smaller ones were working fine. It was only the large ones, though, that was giving me the problem. Now, I even went so far to replace the hot end, the PTFE tube, just all kinds of crazy stuff. And then I gave up, and I went and tried another slicer, and boom, it worked fine. Went back to Cura. I got this crap. So I'm really not sure what's going on with Cura, but I decided it's time for a change. So I went looking for a new slicer. Now I know there's a bunch out there and all the cool kids are using Slick R or whatever the heck they're calling it. But one of the things that I wanted to do is I needed to find one that was A, number one, had a free version, number two, produced high quality outputs, and number three was relatively easy to use, not a crazy learning curve. Now I know many of you would say, hey, Go out and drop 150 bucks on Simplify 3D. Well, I can do that, but the thing is, a lot of people can't. A lot of people, you know, uh, you know, on budgets, etc. 150 bucks is a lot of money. So I kind of want to stay with what people can use, or you know, somewhat affordable. You know, I'm not passing judgment. Is 150 a lot for Simplify 3D or not? But it's beyond what many people can afford. So I settled on the Kiss Slicer. Why did I do that? Well, it's satisfied that there's a free version. So if you're only using one extruder, uh, it's free. You can download it. I downloaded it. I used it for a couple weeks. Worked great. I did purchase for, I think, $45 the upgrade to dual extruders because I've got a couple dual extruder printers, and I want to be able to use that. It's something Cura didn't do very well at, which KISS does very well at. The other thing is, KISS has a lot of really interesting features that have been really yielding some very, very good prints. Um, one of the pieces that it does is you can specify to do the inner loop before the outer loop. You can also put where your band is going to end up. So you don't have that ridge that you typically see on a part uh, that you do in Cura. So it's got a lot of really interesting features. Now, is it perfect? Well, no, but um, the pieces that are a little bit of a learning curve is, is really more so nomenclature. For example, retraction is D-string. Uh, shells are percentages rather than, um, you know, like 0.04 or what have you. I, I, but the more I've been using it, the more I've really been finding I enjoy thinking this way, and it really makes a lot of sense. Because again, here you can see on, on this part, it really came out super clean. Uh, now here is that band I was telling you about. So I didn't change it on this one, so there is a little bit of a band, but that's where it flips the, goes to the inside layer, so it leaves this little mark. So if you're getting that little mark, that's what it's all about. But in, in KISS, you can make the changes. The other thing is, and, and I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail, other than what I'm suggesting is checking out KISS, because I've kicked Cura out the door, and I'm now using KISS. Now, I, I also like Ice SL. You guys have noticed I did a, a number of uh, episodes on this in the past, but for most people, it's pretty complex. It's right up there with Open SCAD. So I really like it for some of the more complex parts. Um, it can do some crazy things, but I think it's too complicated for, pardon the pun, the average Joe starting out, where I think KISS is a really good fit. I'm not being paid to do this. I'm not even getting an affiliate commission if you go get it. Uh, because, hey, the single extruder version is free. So I would say go out, get KISS, give it a try. I think it's time uh, Cure gets a message and heads to the curb. Let me know what you think in the comments below because I know you will. Cheers and see you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all.